Welcome to the Cava Robles or Sun Outdoor Paso Robles RV Park. This spot is located in the heart of Paso Robles and it's such an amazing place to stay. In this video, I'm sharing with you all the helpful things that you need to know before you plan your trip here. Coming up. And if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is Seattle, and I make travel videos every week. So if you get up, get out and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. I've been here for nine nights. I know a thing or two. Let's talk about it. Starting with the first helpful thing. You do not need an RV to stay here. If you want to glamp it up, they have some phenomenal looking spots. They have uh, like these little tiny homes and also ones that are like two story with a nice rooftop. So you have the option to stay here, not with an RV and enjoy all of the amenities. Let's go look at one of the amenities I'm looking at right now. There's a couple pools on this property, but this is the lap pool. It's actually really nice. A lot of people like to come here and sunbathe, but one thing that I really love, actually two things I really love. One is just sitting outside. One thing that's cool is they actually have a lot of activities. They have like a fun kids carnival uh, in their indoor space over there. And you can like barbecue out here. There's a whole lot of stuff, but there's a full activity schedule that they have going on. So it's kind of worth checking out. One thing that's cool about the laundry facility is uh, you can actually pay with your phone. Um, and I've only seen this at a couple of the RV parks I've stayed at, but you can download the app and you pay with your phone. It's actually really helpful because I mean, who really, has tons of quarters anymore, right? This is a spot I thought I would hang out in more. <laughs> I, was, I came a couple times. It's actually really nice. Um, they have a full gym facility in here with the weights, um, with the machines and all the things. So it's actually really nice. They also have, they also have yoga classes, um, which is nice. And they have that a couple times a week as well. It's right now, I think the going price is $15 a person, but that's another option available to you as well. the bathrooms uh, are individual, which is kind of like unique. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so used to going to the bathroom and having, you know, all the showers on one side and all the toilets on the other, and you get to have the communal room with all the people. Um, but what's really nice here is that it's the individual um, restrooms and showers. So that's really nice, especially if you're in an RV and don't have that kind of a bathroom set up inside of your RV. By the way, if you're getting some value out of this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing, and add your helpful tips in the comments below. We're all a community, and uh, let's, let's take out the trash. Helpful tip in case you are considering that digging or scavenging is prohibited. So we've been hanging out over here at number three, the Fox Run Wellness Center, which is this spot here. And really, to be honest, the only reason why we started here was because I you know, needed to take out the trash. So we saw this part. Let's take a ride. Um, and I wanna show you what's over here at the clubhouse. And let's, let's go take a look. By the way, while we're stopped at this stop sign, I do have to say, one of the awesome things about the RV sites, if you're here with an RV, they are very flat, like very flat, which is so nice because if you don't have an RV that you know has all the little thingies that make it stay straight on unflat ground, anyway, you get what I'm saying. That's awesome. The other thing, every single one of them comes with the table and the fire pit, and it's on top of concrete, which is really nice because the last KOA that I stayed at, um, it was on top of grass and there was lots of bugs in the grass. So this has been awesome for having fires at night. Oh, and actually, if you play pickleball, OMG, we are like a five minute drive from Centennial Park, which is fantastic. And I've been playing pickleball with Larry Werner, amazing dude, pickleball ambassador for Paso Robles. And he helped with a lot of the engineering of this place. And I got to hear some of the cool things that they're working on. It makes me appreciate kind of how awesome this spot is. Here we are, Club House Time. By the way, there's a full video about pickleball. Link in the description below. So you've got the bigger pool on this side. And the reason why I haven't been hanging out that much over here, well, really at all, is because of this. This is under construction, but this clubhouse slash restaurant, bar, etc., is gonna be opening very soon. And when it does, this is gonna be really fun. They have both an indoor and an outdoor space that they're working on building out. And it's just gonna be a really cool um, spot for outdoor activities, as well as dining, as well as live music and all of the things. But this space is gonna be really cool. I'll be back to enjoy it another time. 
There's also a putting green over on that side. And uh, there's some people kind of enjoying some private putting right now. And I'm not that YouTuber that likes to stick videos in people's faces. So use your imagination. Really cool putting green over there. All right, so we just finished this, right? Which is what's under construction with some, a bit under construction with the clubhouse. Um, behind here is also a dog park. There's so many beautiful dogs here. But I actually really like the Welcome Center. So let's go head over there um, because the actual Welcome Center itself has some like really cool products and other things. So let's go over there. Paso Robles. Well, this is one of the things that they're still working out, but they offer rides around Paso Robles. So um, that schedule will be available when you check in. But another thing, if you want a shorter ride, is they do have golf carts. Um, to be honest, I don't really know where you go besides within the RV resort, which oh, a lot of people seem to be doing it, but you can rent uh, golf carts. They also have bikes available. Um, so those are two options as well. And I'm actually in a rental car because there's an enterprise right down the street. So more info on that in the description below. And if you're just in general looking for other cool things to do in Paso Robles, I have a full video on that. Um, I have been adventuring around this amazing place. There's a lot to do here. So that's also in the description below. We got another dog park on this side, but a lot of bathrooms on this side. There's a playground with a little rock climbing wall for the kids, uh, bike parking and bocce ball. Kind of cool. And this really nice seating area. Hey, how's it going? I'm just creeping. See, I told you it was nice in here. They also usually have coffee and stuff over here. So this welcome center is where you can go for all of your needs. It's where you go to check in when you get here. And the staff here is really awesome. If you got some value out of this video, cheers that like button. Come join me in my Paso Real Place video. Find some really amazing things to do in this beautiful, beautiful place. There's a lot of wine to be had, and I will see you in that next video. Ciao. Do not enter. Do not enter. Hey, look, that kind of matches my nails. Which normally matches my earrings, but sweat all over them and pickleball. Matches my pickleball stuff. You know, you know, pickleball. Get, get what I'm going here.